big story so developing around the, the swimming has been surrounding the, the young Chinese swimmer, also young 16. We've been talking about her Yi Shi Win for the last few days. Controversy because of these allegations that have been put forward by the American coach. Look, and I think what we, how we should talk about these things is let's remove nationalities from this. It's a swimmer. Um, the same as when we look at you know the great results from uh, you know Ruta you know swimming here in Plymouth. You know she's also a young swimmer who dropped. Two second and was consistent throughout the medals and we applaud her that she's been very successful if we had an athlete from team gb that dropped three seconds and was 15 or 16 years old we'd say wow what an incredible but result the, the point that john leonard is making about Yi she win is that the trajectory she's on that her improvement is so striking that in, in his view it's unnatural so as a 15 year old i won the 400 freestyle at the world championships i think i swam 346 from memory the following year, I swam 3.41 and broke the world record. That's five second drop in a 400 meters freestyle. Tough event to drop that amount of time. I'm a young swimmer. I'm an age group swimmer. So we take chunks of time off as we're going up that scale. And I know that this is at the very elite level, but we have to remember that young swimmers can take off chunks of times that others can't. And I think we have to wait. We have to wait. We let the procedures go through. Now, she's an athlete that has been on the scene. She's been to the World Championships, and so she should be in the pool of people that are being drug tested. We shouldn't just assume because someone's dropped time that they're instantly a drug check just because they're from a different country. And we should make clear there is, as a medal winner, she's been tested straight away and Absolutely. she has not failed a drugs test. I mean, I don't want to think really about how she's feeling having this controversy surrounding her when she's still there competing. This is what happens though, is when, and this is what I don't like in sport at the moment, is when people are successful, people go to, it must be drugs. And this is why we have to be vigilant about the testing procedures and make sure they are as strict and as fair as possible so that the people in the public, when they see a brilliant performance, actually applaud the performance because they have confidence in our anti-doping procedures. Okay, Ian, we'll talk more through the course of the morning, but the Aquatic Centre right here has got a fantastic view of it. That's where it's all happening. There are four gold medals up for grab in there later on tonight. Plenty of heat.